crunchy. I know you ain't gonna tell me. Now I am filming on both my camera and my phone. Bear with me. So I might be looking here and I might be looking there. But either way it go, I'm everywhere. <laughs> I should be a rapper, shouldn't I? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to those that are new. I am Makeup Side, and I'm getting ready to show you guys how I got this beautiful look wearing a 26 inch kinky straight wig from Wig Pretty. Stay tuned to see how I achieve this look. The coffee in the queen size. $2 for a pair of stockings. I fold it in half like this. Take my shears and then I basically cut them in half like this. So now you have about, I usually have about three to four per leg. I'm gonna open it up. Now be cool when you do it because you don't want it to start shrinking. And as you can see right now, it looks clear. So I am going to be prepping my hair. This is the Bold Hold, the Skin Protecting, the Garnier, this is some cellular water. I bought a whole bunch of these microfiber towels um, for my face as well as my hair. I'm going to use the Garnier first, clean the surface first, and it's also good for your skin, so that's a plus. I know where I'm going to be putting down that glue and just any areas that I know. So, as I mentioned, I am not very good at doing ball caps but i've been trying like sometimes i I get it right like i'd be like oh sis looking bald mr clean out here and then some days i'll be like all right now who uncle didn't spray some hair spray on your head this ball cap ain't bald and, and it ain't capping but anyways you know we live and learn and i'm still learning as as long as i've been doing this i still have my troubles so don't worry if you still in this stage too we gonna get it together and we gonna work it out period you know what I look like? I look like one of those dudes that be getting they faded. <laughs> I said fade. It fades like the whole head spray black. Yeah, that's what I look like. Now, how I'm going to just say that and then just leave y'all <laughs> in the wind. Talk about I look like that. See, I just told y'all I look like one of them dudes that go to the shop and get all that hair spray on top of their head. I'm going to try to find a picture so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Well, I probably don't. I ain't going to do all that. That's do tough. Don't we not going to do that. What we not going to do is that. <laughs> so, am I bald now? Or what? Anyways my wig on now let's see how it fits because i might have to fix my ball cap me and ball caps don't really get along i'm gonna start just not wearing them you know what i mean they're not gonna see the ball cap anyways i need the wig you gotta do is put a little slick your head down put a little foundation on it but we gonna go ahead and i'm gonna cut the back off i hate this little part i don't know what it's for i'm guessing that's like to hide you know if you want to put in the ponytail man i washed this hair so good it smells absolutely delicious it smells so good she's off let's put her on well calm down the wig is not going anywhere girl. don't be alarmed but yeah we're gonna have to adjust this uh ball cap for sure we're gonna have to adjust it Here is kind of okay because my forehead isn't big at all. I'm gonna tint the inside of it, put the foundation on it so we can see what it's really giving. Because right now I can't see the vision and I need to see the vision. But sometimes I get like really happy out of nowhere and then I get like really sad. Like, what is that? I find myself like, God, what's going on? What should I be doing that I'm not doing that's causing me to be like this? I can get like hyper motivated like really 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 motivated and then i'm like yeah we gonna hold off till another day and then another day turns to another day and then another day turns to another day and then before you know it the day never comes and then i'm waiting like a, a year later and then i'm like oh my god i should have did it when i should have did it if i did it when i should have did it then it would have been done i probably would have been in a better situation but i still trust god's timing sometimes it's not on our time it's on his time and then also the good thing about god is 
even when we don't operate on his timeline, he still finds a way to make a way out of no way and use the timeline that we're operating on to still bless us, to still move us in the direction that he wants us to go in. So that's always a good thing. Never think that you're off course with what God has planned for your life. Everything happens for a reason. Look at me, I'm in the ball cap right now. <laughs> It's not the best ball cap, but once I put this baby on, you see her? Whoa, what is she? She's gonna be cute. So I'm back and don't forget to find that mystery scripture. You won't forget it, sis. Trust me. So we're going to hot shirt in and put on some boho active glue. You guys know this is by far my favorite. Until I find another glue that can, you know, be up to my standards like boho, then we're going to get into that. But anyways, I did about two and a half layers. I'm talking about two and a half. How is that even possible? I did three layers of this boho active glue. I am still currently wearing this. It's been about a week and since it's still intact and on. And I have sweated out my hair because this heat be on hell. I mean, we not going to say that. <laughs> this heat be on uh, a volcano. Okay. <laughs> it be hot here. So the, the fact that this uh, glue be lasting is amazing i love it okay so i went ahead and secured it um down um by just pressing it i don't really use the comb method which is fine some people do but i just go ahead and just you know use my fingers and press it in i find that for me to be a little bit more effective and just pressing it and just making sure that it's on there properly because sometimes my hairline be kind of weird so i just I'll try to do the best I can by pulling it and make sure it's nice and straight. I went ahead and wrap that up and blow dried it because just so the uh you know the dry time can be a little bit faster and I won't have to have this band on for too long because let's be let's be serious. That band be tight and that's not even a band that's a stocking cap but we ain't gonna talk about that so i sprayed that even adhesive glue on there i mean spray on there and then wrapped it up once more and i did this about three times i do this a lot where i spray wrap spray wrap and i uh went ahead and sectioned my hair off into the ponytail part because that's when we're gonna so that way when i get ready and style it i won't have to do it and then i took that band off and i went ahead and cut it now when i cut it i found that the, i sprayed that spray a little bit too far up so I think next time when I get ready and spray this adhesive spray, I'm going to be mindful of my placement because I don't want to have to cut that uh, uh, lace off a little wrong. But this time it wasn't bad. Uh, I cut it the same, any other way I would cut it any other time. But except I had like a little peak in it that I eventually did cut off. I just didn't film it on camera. Should have did that. But I cut it a little wrong because I am right handed. So when I get to the left side, it's a struggle. But nonetheless, we got it done. I took a darker uh, foundation and just put that on my uh, lace so it can blend a little bit better. And then I took that Even Melting Spray and sprayed that on there. Now, this is my first time ever um, using this spray. I've heard so much about it and I decided to use it. I absolutely love Even products. So I just knew that this was going to give. And honey, it did. It kind of reminded me of the spritz that we were using to melt the lace. It smells exactly like it. So I think they just like capitalized off of us using spritz on our hair. And hey, why not? I mean, hey, you got every other product. Might as well do that. Period. So then I went ahead and sectioned off that bang because we want to make sure that everything is in its place. So when I get ready and start doing this, uh, the rods, they are in its place. So putting this ponytail up was a struggle because <laughs> the hair was long and having to comb it up and hold it in place was a lot. Um, I haven't did a ponytail in quite some time. I've always worn braids or a wig and never did this type of style. So baby, them arms was getting put to work. Okay. 
you'll see me in a minute i'm gonna be a little exhausted once i put this last little part i can't believe that was so much work so i put it in a bun I put it in a bun. Anyways, I had took these uh, rods. I had those rods for years, honey. I mean, years. And I haven't used them in quite some time. So I was like, how do I use them? I forgot how to use them. Oh, right. Don't put them on dry because they're not going to look like anything. Uh, maybe they will. I don't know. But I've never put on uh, flexi rods without putting on something. And um, I put some mousse on there and I went ahead and put it, like, twirled it around. Now, I wish I would have did it like i did the bang where i twirled it around as if it was like a wine curler that's the objective with those flexi rods in order for them to look really really bold you want to you know put them on the flexi rod as if it was a wine curler instead of just like a regular curly iron you know what i mean you know you get it but anyways the ponytail was a little i thought it was gonna be hard but honestly it wasn't once i got the hang of the back and i knew what i was doing i was on a roll honey i just literally used six uh rods at the top and i honestly uh used a different size i used all the gray and the purple ones which are a little bit fatter in the back and then i used like the medium skinny ones in the front for the ponytail to look a little bit more appealing i didn't want to use the big ones on that ponytail because i didn't know how they were going to look and if those curls were going to be big i didn't want that i wanted them to look small and cute and um in its place me this is the last one i just basically wrapped that up and um secured it all i made sure that though that ponytail was super tight and in place it wasn't going anywhere okay so last but not least we started on this uh bang and like i said i wish i would have curled the rest of my hair like i did this one you see me like twisting my hair as if i'm doing like a two strand twist you seen i just twirled it a little bit where i did it like that that's so that way um it gives that uh wand curling effect versus just like you use a regular curling iron i know that next time when i do this hairstyle i definitely will be doing it like this um where you twirl it as if you were like i said doing a, a wand curlers or like um you know you're twisting your hair so it can come out really cute and bouncy like you see on the beat of this video so yeah i went to sleep and woke up and here's how it looks morning look at my head it is a new day and i am up i'm getting ready for church this morning i need to brush my teeth wash my face and i'm gonna just get straight into it and let's see how these curls turned out so they held up pretty good i don't, I don't sleep really well like that i'm gonna take some of my makeup out of this box so i can just at least do my eyebrows for now I'm just putting some of this porcelain powder, the brown porcelain powder by G-Cat. Because I had wiped them off with this uh, makeup wipe. I just want to make sure that there isn't any leftover residue. P. Louise. So I used a much brighter uh, eyebrow, not eyebrow pencil, pencil because I didn't want my eyebrows to be harsh and overpowering this look because the hair is light and you definitely don't want dark eyebrows with light hair. So keep that in mind. I just don't, I just don't want my eyebrows to, to, I want them to be light, if that makes sense. Because I do want them to still look dark but light. So let's do the ponytail first. I think the ponytail is probably going to be the most difficult. I really still want it to not, I don't want it to be hard is why I'm not putting any hard products on there because of course we still want to be able to wear it down without it being all crunchy and stuff. I do not like a hard ponytail, honey. I really, 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 really hope they turn out right. Okay, let me not stop talking. I know y'all like, girl, come on with the video. Come on with the video. Hey, hey, she's something. It ain't giving spiral.
Okay, look at the ponytail. It's nice and curly. Heatless, okay. It's so cute. I have here some bobby pants that's kind of the same color. So I just, I just literally, you know how we take it and we just, you know, uh, I didn't do anything special to it. And I'm gonna just bobby pin some of the parts down. And we're gonna just do it like that. That's good enough. So now I'm gonna do the back. I'm just gonna leave it like this until I can see how the back is, what the back is given. And then I'm gonna move on. And honestly, I don't wanna do the bang yet until I can see if I figure out whether or not I'm gonna do my makeup or not. That's important, okay? So I just finished my makeup. I didn't do too much to my face. I kind of like rushed through it. Um, I was kind of like sweating last night. So we're going to take that into consideration. Oh, not so bad. My edges are showing, but we're going to get that together. But as far as the lace is concerned, she's intact. I'm just press this side down because she's not trying to stay down. I love how the curls came out. I just like to pull them a little bit. really love the way that this turned out i'm super excited i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial she is full of life she's giving very much goldilocks you know what i mean the curls came out cute this is my very first time ever doing this little style up here she's giving me life right now super cute and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like and comment on this video and as always nevertheless never stressed always blessed okay bye <laughs>